Hello friends, um, I'm very happy to present you, you the 17 vintage very shortly to you. I'm very unhappy not to be able to present it personally to you as I have done it several times um, in the past decade. Um, the reason why I can't be there is what you hear in the background. Uh, little Johan was born very recently and uh, of course keeping me away from traveling. Um, 17 Vintage, uh, however, will speak a lot for itself, but also Mihailo, who is supporting me in Export Matters and who you will surely, surely uh, be meeting very soon, uh, will explain you in more details in a couple of minutes. Um, 17 Vintage is a very beautiful vintage, a vintage we are very happy about. Um, a vintage that offers everything you would wish for and you probably expect for a great Mosul wine. You have the elegance you are looking for, you have a bright acidity, very beautiful fruit and also um, the minerality with all its differences in the different vineyards is very well expressed. So I'm sure you will have a lot of fun trying these wines and later on working with these wines. One particular thing I would like to mention uh, right in the beginning, which is very special about that vintage, is that we will um, we decided to release a long gold capsule. Long gold capsules usually are only auctioned in Trier once a year uh, in September and um, in a very small um, group um, offered to a very small uh, yeah, a range of people. But we thought since there have been so many people asking, wow, can we ever have access to a, go a long gold capsule? Um, the vintage offered us this opportunity in the Bernkast Lalai, where we had um, very beautiful grapes and uh, we could differentiate between the regular Auslese, which you have tasted before, and the long gold capsule, which were even more shriveled grapes, some botrytis involved, very beautiful, elegant wine, very long, very complex, um, giving you a very good example of a long gold capsule I hope and I hope you will enjoy it at the end of the tasting um, and of course um, in the decades to come because that's a wine that's really made for aging. Enjoy. The 17 was uh, marked by a lot of changes so there was a frosty January uh, followed by a rather warm uh, period in February and March which was again interrupted by rather cool weather and uh, also frost, which uh, caused some damage in the vineyards. It was not severe, um, but it was quite considerable. So I guess they lost around 40-50% of their average yield. But luckily the weather changed again to a more positive style. So in, in May and June was, uh, was rather warm, ra uh, warm and sunny, uh, which was again interrupted by a very rainy July. So uh, we had plenty of rain more than double of the average amount uh, in July, so which was actually positive because as we are here in in a very rocky, dry surroundings, we need the we need the rain. That caused that that turned out into a very um, very dense and and ripe uh, grape material, which is which is crucial for for this 17 vintage, which is very intense. As already mentioned, we had rather low yields and uh, also due to climate change it's getting kind of a little tough to to produce the cabinet category uh, or let's say the original cabinet style because cabinet should be uh, a very delicious delicate wine which can be enjoyed also in its youth uh, light-footed wines marked with elegance and crispness so we always trying to to get the the categories uh, how, how, how they really should taste like. And Cabinet 2017 is on one hand intense, uh, we're marked with an intense luscious fruit, on the other hand it has also that crispness and light-footedness which we appreciate from this category. So uh, we are very positive about the, about the quality of the, of the Cabinets from 2017. The village Zeltingen is also part of our vineyards that we, that we have in the winery and uh, is, is the smallest part that we have and uh, one, also one of the warmest places. And uh, 
when we talk about the, the, the angle, so we, we're looking at like south, southwest, which means more, more sunshine. We receive more sunshine there. And uh, what's so special about Seltingen is the soil. So we have uh, also Devonian schist there, so grayish blue schist. But the, the bedrock comes, is very massive and is closer to the topsoil than, than here in the Vilna Sonnur. Also, when we talk about the style of Zeltingen or Zeltinger wines, uh, they are more masculine, they have more, like, more body to it. Therefore, it also demands more, more patience, more, more bottle age, until it really shows its, its typicity, its, its, uh, the core of, of Zeltingen, which is very interesting. And uh, they also show a little, slightly more yellow fruit, so a little bit riper than when we, when we look along uh, Grach and, and Bernkastel uh, as a difference. So talking about the second category after Cabinet uh, is the Spätlese. Spät meaning late, so uh, later harvest. And, um, gives, uh, turns out in wines with, with more sugar, obviously, and, uh, but also more intensity. The wines have in, in the mid palate, the Spätlese has a little bit more body, uh, slightly more sugar, and but the sugar is balanced again by, by the loyal acidity which gives it a shift and, and, and creates a perfect balance again. And uh, we were very satisfied again. Uh, 2017 is a vintage, we believe, of Spätlese and Auslese focus. And uh, yeah, definitely, if, if, you, if you have a, a, a daughter or son which is born in that vintage, just buy Spätlese and, and wait for how, how long do you, you want. So between 15, 20 years, no problem at all. So definitely also made for the long haul. And um, yeah, we, we are quite satisfied also with the intensity and, and the lift by the acidity and, and also the body. So everything is in shape. Yeah.